guys, Matt Haber here with EV West. Um, just another update for our podcast here. What, would, uh, what we're going to show you how to do today is we're going to show you how to install our Curtis chill plate. Now this is for the 1238, uh, 6501 and 7501 models. Um, basically what you want to, you really want to start off with is go ahead and flip the controller around. As you can see, you know, we've, we've taken pretty good care of this one and just, just probably from, you know, the manufacturer, there's, there's little scratches and nicks and things like that. So you want to go ahead and just take a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper. You know, any of these nicks that are standing up are not going to let our chill plate sit flush. So we're just, just kind of just take a little bit of the edge off. That's all you're trying to do is just take a little bit of the, the, the nicks down. If you feel anything real heavy, go ahead and, t you know, hit those spots a little bit harder. Sometimes you'll see higher spots around machined areas, such as this. Sometimes there'll be a little higher spot around that, so you can spend a little more time there. The good thing about silicone is it's a little, it's a little forgiving, so it's going to fill in a lot of this anyway, but you just want to get anything that's real, you know, standing up real high here. And let's go ahead and now before we ship these plates, of course they go through our inspection, you know, they have to meet our approval and everything, but uh, in shipping, you know how that goes, sometimes you might get a few scratches, little nicks here and there, so again you want to do the same thing. Just go ahead and sand this down a little bit, get off any rough edges. This also helps with take, taking the corrosion off as well, any kind of corrosion from sitting. As soon as we're done here, we're going to go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit with a can of brake clean or solvent or anything like that. You know, just something that'll really get down into the aluminum and clean it off. The uh, the ports that I would like to talk about here on the side, these are eighth inch NPT ports. So we have an in, which comes around and flows through all this back here. The return port, which would be the water out, is this one here again, eighth inch NPT. We also have a water port for any kind of thermostatic um, fan switch you want to control, you want to run a pump with it, you know, if you don't want this thing uh, circulating water at all times. As of right now, we do not drill it all the way through into the cooling or into the coolant section. If you need a sensor, if it, if it actually has to be in the water, you just drill it right through. You don't have to touch the threads, you know, just a little hole to drill into the water. So let's go ahead and uh, just take a little bit of. Uh, we just use multi-purpose solvent here from Worth. And go ahead and just hit this pretty heavily. You're not gonna hurt anything. Really just wipe it down real good. You can see from that, there is actually a lot on the bottom of this. And the, the better contact, the better seal we have with the silicone, the longer this is gonna last. And again, we'll do the same thing with the chill plate. Just get that one real good clean. We actually do sell a uh, thermostatic switch to run your fan or your pump of any kind, uh, it's actually on the website there, but here's a little sample of the probe that we use, and that just will thread right into the eighth inch MPT port right here. Now, when applying your silicone, you don't really need a lot of silicone on this. Uh, basically, Whatever ends up squirting outside is what's squirting under the inside, and that's getting into your water passages. It's just, it's just not necessary. So you just want to apply a nice thin bead pretty much right down the center. And what we're using here is just black RTV silicone. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's pretty durable when it comes to using mineral oil or the antifreeze that you guys end up using or you know however you do it. Some people will try to use clear silicone and it, it just really can't handle, can't, it just can't uh, 
up against the solvents, it just it just tears it apart, it comes apart, and then you lose your seal, and then you have a water leak. Just to ensure that everything's covered here, I'm going to go ahead and just give it, just smear this around a little bit. You don't really need to go around these holes once you get you know outside the water jacket here. You're not doing anything good anyway. So just smear this around like that. One of the great advantages to our chill plate here is we've used the exact same amount of aluminum in between each channel as we did for water. We feel that this is uh, kind of the best way to dissipate as much heat as possible. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, the silicone, it's, uh, you know, you just let it sit up just a little bit, a couple of minutes, you, you know, it's pretty much ready to go right on. Uh, the chill plate can be installed two different ways. The water ports can come out of the bare side, or what we're gonna do on this application is we're actually gonna put the water ports the same as our connector. So we're gonna go ahead and just flip this over. You wanna try to square it up as best you can as you're setting it down. And then uh, pretty much all you gotta do now, these are 10 millimeter bolts. Not sure the length, probably at least a good three inches at least. We're actually a little bit short the ones we're using, but they will work. And you just put four bolts in each hole there, or one in each hole. Go ahead and take a nut, put it on the bottom side. Do this all the way around. The last one here. And again, just, you know, just for cosmetics, just try to, you know, there's a little bit of play in these bolts so you can kind of work it around and just try to make sure it's squared up as best as possible. It's not gonna take a whole lot of torque here. You just Go around there and you can immediately start to see the silicone start coming out of the edges. I'm going to jump and go to the opposite side and go all the way across. Again, you see the silicone coming out. Okay, I'm going to go around and give them just one last little bit more here. Just give it one more. As that silicone squishes down, you get a little bit of play more, you know, a little maybe quarter of a turn. You can you can leave this little bit of uh, silicone that's beating out of the outside edges. It's really easy to wipe off with your finger now, or you can cut it off with a razor blade later. Um, so that's pretty much the basic installation. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this. Basically probably sit and cure overnight because before you go to uh, mount this in a car, when you take these bolts out, literally the only thing that holds the chill plate to the controller is the silicone. We have installed a little groove here because just to show you, it really does take a lot to get this plate off. You've got to put a screwdriver in here and probably you know, hit it with a hammer to get it out. So the silicone will hold it just fine until it's installed, but you do want to make sure you use whatever mounting bolts that they, they do go tight, you know, to, to hold the chill plate to the controller. So we're gonna go and let this sit overnight and uh, we'll show you what it looks like in the car with a little more water lines hooked up to it.